Hi everyone, in this video we will try to understand how to find the total deviation when we arrange two plane mirrors with some angle between them. So this is a plane mirror 1 and this is the plane mirror 2. So these two are arranged with some angle theta. So here I am considering an incident ray. So this is the incident ray first strikes the plane mirror 1. After striking the plane mirror it will undergo a reflection and strikes the second mirror at point C. After striking the second mirror it is moving like this. Okay. Now I want to find what is the total deviation. So total deviation is nothing but the deviation uh, which is uh, made by plane mirror 1 plus the deviation produced by plane mirror 2. We know that the angle of deviation. So here theta 1 is the angle of incidence where alpha is the glancing angle for mirror 1. Similarly for mirror 2 theta 2 is the angle of incidence beta is the glancing angle now i want to find the total deviation the total deviation is given by sum of deviation 1 and deviation 2 if it is a single mirror the deviation of a particular mirror is given by if you know the angle of incidence theta 1 deviation is given by d1 is equal to 180 degrees minus 2 theta 1 whereas for the second mirror the deviation d2 is given by 180 minus 2 theta 2 now if you add total deviation means if you add d1 and d2 so let me show you so this is the first step so if I want to get the total deviation, I need to add D1 and D2. So this is the term related to D1, which is 180 minus uh, 2 theta 1. And this is the term related to D2, which is uh, 180 minus 2 theta 2. So when we are adding D1 and D2, we need to add these two. As a next step, what we will get? As a next step, we will get 180 plus 180 as a... Uh, 360 and I am taking minus 2 common so that I will get theta 1 plus theta 2. So if you find theta 1 and theta 2 means the sum of theta 1 and theta 2 we can eventually find d1 plus d2 which is the total deviation. How can we find theta 1 and uh, theta 2 or theta 1 plus theta 2 which is the sum of the angles of incidences. As a next step, you can observe that I have added the angle of incidence of first mirror with the glancing angle of first mirror. The sum of these two is actually equal to 90 degrees. Similarly, the angle of incidence of second mirror and the glancing angle related to second mirror. If you add these two, you will get 90 degrees. Now, by adding these two equations, I will get theta 1 plus theta 2 plus alpha plus beta is equal to RHS value is 90 degrees plus 90 degrees 180 degrees okay now from this what I will get is the relation between uh, sum of angles of incidence and uh, sum of ang glancing angles see here theta 1 plus theta 2 is the summation of two uh, angles of incidences alpha plus beta is the summation of two glancing angles so i got the second equation as theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to 180 minus alpha plus beta now our task is to find what is this theta 1 plus theta 2 value what is this theta 1 plus theta 2 value in terms of angle between the mirrors if you go back to the diagram, in this diagram, you can observe that theta is the angle between the two mirrors. 
where theta 1 and theta 2 are the two incident angles of the two rays. Now, how can I find the relation between this theta and theta 1, theta 2? So, for that, I am considering the triangle A, B, C. Okay. So, in the triangle A, B, C, what are the three angles? This is theta and this is alpha. Why? If this is alpha, which is the glancing angle, this is also alpha. Similarly, if this is beta, the glancing angle of second mirror, this will also be beta. Now, when you add all these three angles in a triangle, according to sum of angle property in a triangle, the sum of all the three angles must be equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, what I am trying to write here as a third equation, you can observe. So, this is the third equation. From triangle ABC, theta is equal to 180 minus alpha plus beta. Why? Because when you add theta, alpha and beta, these are the interior angles of a triangle. When you add all these, you must get 180 degrees. Hence, we can write theta equal to 180 minus alpha plus beta. Now, you have the second equation and third equation here. From the second and third equations, you can observe that RHS values are equal. Here RHS is 180 minus alpha plus beta. In third equation also, the RHS is 180 minus alpha plus beta. When RHS values are equal, you can equate LHS. So here LHS is theta 1 plus theta 2. Here LHS is theta. Therefore, theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to theta. When you compare, see, from 2 and 3, when you compare second equation and third equation, we will get theta 1 plus theta 2 as theta. In this way, we can obtain the relation between angle between the mirrors and the angles of incidences of both the rays. Now, by substituting this fourth equation in the first equation. So, this is the first equation. So, where d1 plus d2 is equal to, which is total deviation, is equal to 360 minus 2, theta, 2 into theta1 plus theta2. So, by substituting this uh, fourth equation, which is theta is equal to theta1 plus theta2 in first equation, we can obtain the total deviation d1 plus d2 as uh, 360 minus 2 theta. So, what is theta here? Theta is the angle between the two plane mirrors. If you know the angle between the two plane mirrors, after some reflections, what will be the total deviation? We can find with the help of this formula, which is 360 minus 2 theta. In this way, we can derive the formula for total deviation in case of two plane mirrors. So, these are the two plane mirrors arranged with some angle theta okay hope you like this video if you have any doubts please post them in the comment section so that uh, in the free time we'll try to answer them if you really like this video uh, hit a like button share this video to your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you very much